Honestly, this tooth floss is the worst floss I have ever used in my life. And it was really expensive. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today, Leah and I are going to be giving you a tour of our washroom and we're going to talk about some of the essentials that we have in there from a low waste lifestyle perspective. Is this a video you ever thought you would be making? No, it is not. Come with us. Let's go to our bathroom. This is the weird thing about the internet is that there are subjects that people are just interested in and hopefully this is helpful for you. In your daily life, Life, yes. You're gonna go to the bathroom and do things in the bathroom every day, so. And we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Full disclosure, a number of these items are either affiliate based or roundup sponsorship style products, which means that they have given me a small amount of money in order to be featured in this video. I'm going to be putting a little tag down in the corner of the screen to kind of tell you if it's an affiliate product or a sponsored product, etc but we wouldn't be showing you these products unless we thought that they were cool and awesome. So, so I guess with all that in mind, uh, let's all go, go to the, the bathroom. bathroom. Let's, let's all go, go to the bathroom. bathroom. Let's, let's all go, go to the bathroom, bathroom and look at some zero waste eco-friendly products. Yay. <laughs> So welcome to our very tiny bathroom. This space is pretty unchanged from when you saw it in our tour video, but you might notice this shelf was put in and you might recognize it from our office tour because this is made by Chop Value. Again, the company that makes furniture and different household items out of recycled chopsticks, which is really cool. This shelf was really critical for us because in this small space, we have nowhere to put things and it looks great doing it. On this shelf, as you can see, we have a little mug where we keep our mouth guards at <laughs> night. Such a charming introduction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We won't show them us in our mouth guards though. Behind it, we have a pottery mug with our first essential, which are our bamboo toothbrushes. Now, we've had some terrible experiences with bamboo toothbrushes in the past. It is like one of those things that can either go so well or so wrong. And fortunately, Bam Brush, which is a local company, makes decent toothbrushes. We've had these for a while. We should probably replace them, but honestly, they don't cost that much more than a regular toothbrush. These still have the nylon bristles, which you need to remove before you put them into your compost or other waste facility. But other than that, they do a really great job and they're plastic free. Okay, sit down with me. Um, so Bam Brush makes really good toothbrushes, but they make tooth floss as well. And honestly, this tooth floss is the worst floss I have ever used in my life. The worst floss I have ever used in my life. Like literally it would get stuck in Levi's teeth and he couldn't use the floss to get the floss out of his teeth. So I really love the design. It has this simple bamboo container, which you open and inside you have your floss, which you can refill. But the problem is the floss itself sucks. So Leah and I floss our teeth every single night and we've used a lot of tooth floss in our life. And during that time, I have never had floss that suck uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's it literally so broken. breaks all the time. This is one of the most easily accessible options um, that we have found. We bought this at a local department store. It's better by design. And this is the vanilla mint flavor. And it's a silk floss. The container itself is made out of paper. So once you're done, you just fold it apart and put it in your recycling. And you can buy them online through websites like Earth Hero. I think you can probably even get them through Amazon. Our next essential is the Tushy Bidet. We actually made an entire video about the Tushy back when the pandemic just started. I've actually had a lot of people ask me like, as a woman or as someone with a vulva, do you like the Tushy? I love it. I cannot <laughs> express enough how much I love the Tushy. It's not just for your bones, just so you know. So these are our bidet towels, which we pulled out of storage recently. Um, we still have yet to sew them up on the edges so that they don't fray. But basically the system is, use the bidet, wipe your bum, and then use this little bin for the towels. Now I installed this tushy both times that we had to in our last place and this place. And 
This was not easy. The Toshi is mostly compatible with almost all toilets, but this one has a skirted bottom, and so it took a lot of back and forth with them, but we finally got it figured out, and it was really a big lifesaver because other bidet systems are really expensive, and Toshi is cheap. Honestly, there's nothing on the market that's as affordable as they are, and their customer service is amazing. So if you want to get yourself an affordable one, we have a little discount code down in the description where you can get one for yourself. And of course, we get a little kickback from that. Your bomb will thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our third is our Leaf Shave Razors. Um, I've talked about Leaf Shave a lot on this channel. If you have been around here, you know that because they're great. Some of you will notice that my rose gold one has a bit of a tarnish on it. Um, I got one of their first models for me to test out. Apparently they have updated them now, so it should stay this nice rose gold color and it won't have this tarnish anymore. But again, that doesn't stop it from working really well. The reason why I like Leaf Shave is because it makes zero waste shaving really easy. I've used safety razors in the past and they work pretty well, but I have really sensitive skin and so I just prefer something that has multiple blades and this flexible head so that I can shave quickly and easily like I do for every single one of these videos, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> every now and then you're a little scruffy. Again, there's a little discount code down in the description if you want to check that out. But now, on to probably one of the most dramatic subjects The that... most divisive <laughs> that has come up amongst people. <laughs> what to do with a brrrr soap dish. We talked about how it wasn't the best soap dish in the world, and I was not expecting the dozens of messages that I received from people with soap dish suggestions. Um, thank you so much for that. Very overwhelmed. Uh, yeah, overwhelmed. Some great advice. Amazing. But we will say, again, the most eco-friendly thing is to use the thing that you have already. Yeah. And I quite like the color of the soap dish. So this one does work pretty well for the most part, so we're not going to replace it. But we do have a second one in our spare bathroom that is kind of interesting. Let's all go to the bathroom. Let's all go no, to the no, other bathroom. You can't do that for everything that we do. Oh, but it's the other bathroom. <laughs> Can we do a conga line? <laughs> now, before we get into the next section of our bathroom tour, uh, I would like to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then you should. Almost half of the people who watch our videos aren't actually subscribed, so um, please hit that button, and while you're there, hit that like button. The more that you like this video, share it with your friends, the more money we raise for the planet. That's so, right. like, do the right thing, just literally go click. There you go. Yay, doing the right thing so easy. <sighs> So the other soap dish is this bamboo one that we got recently. And the coolest thing is that it has a loofah in the bottom to catch all that water. I think if we use this bathroom more, it, it might go through the loofah a lot more often, but because it's our spare bathroom, it works really well. Plus like, so cute. Yes, yeah, so it does look great. Check that out. Adorable. What an aesthetic. So probably the most exciting thing that we have in our bathroom right now, at least for me anyway, is the Nevia Quattro shower head that I got to install just this week. This is the new Nevia shower head. You might've heard of the original because it raised something crazy like over $3 million on Kickstarter. And this is the new version and it's way cheaper, like less than $100 if you sign up for it through their Kickstarter, which is live right now. So I'm not like a handyman by any means, but even I was able to set this thing up in less than 15 minutes. You did it! <laughs> there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that was awesome. So the Nebbia uses 40 to 50% less water than a traditional shower head, which is awesome already to begin with, but it's made with recycled ocean plastic, which is an added bonus. So I've taken a shower with it, and honestly, the different settings utilize water in such an efficient way that it doesn't really feel like you're getting less water in your shower. But one thing that's really cool for Leah and I is that it has this detachable head that allows you to water plants or rinse other stuff if you want. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because removable heads are nice for other things too in the shower. What? 
Now I understand that maybe some of you are skeptical because you've never backed a Kickstarter before, but this is actually being made in partnership with Moen, which is like one of the industry leading shower head and faucet companies. So I'd say there's a really good chance that this actually gets built. If you're interested, there's a link down in the description. But now we're gonna talk about toilet paper. It's such fun toilet paper. I know, isn't it great? And so we got our first shipment of Who Gives a Crap toilet paper. And when we opened the box, I was blown away at how cool they are. It honestly felt like opening like a gift for Christmas. I was like, <laughs> new toys! <laughs> so if you don't know what Who Gives a Crap is, basically they make toilet paper out of recycled paper rather than virgin wood, which comes from cutting down trees, which is insane. They also donate 50% of all of their proceeds to help build toilets in places that need them. On top of that, they don't take themselves too seriously based on the name. And now you have all of these like aesthetically pleasing and colorful toilet paper rolls throughout your house. <laughs> this is the emergency roll and you get it at the end. It says, in case of emergency, tear open wrapper. Don't be that person who forgets to order more. Seriously, there's nothing worse than running out of toilet paper, nothing. So as you know, we have the Tushy Bidet, but we still use toilet paper for other things. And it's also an option for people when they visit if they're not comfortable using a bidet. This is the most sustainable way to buy toilet paper. Um, it's not wrapped in any plastic whatsoever. It comes in a box and each of these is wrapped in paper, which is compostable. You could also like wrap fun gifts in this as well. We definitely have had friends before who like reuse this as wrapping paper and I just love that idea. So Christmas, watch out. <laughs> this is what our entire family, you're not getting toilet paper. But, you know, you're gonna get a fun gift wrapped like this. Maybe you'll get toilet paper too, who knows? You might, why not? So that is a bunch of the stuff that we need in our bathroom in order to make our lives as... Eco-friendly and sustainable as possible while getting our business done. <laughs> <laughs> This is um, a part of a series where we talk about the things in our house and our home and how we set it all up. So if you're interested in knowing more about the different parts of our home, there is a playlist linked down in the description. And if you are subscribed to this channel, which you very much should be, then we will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye. Ow. I think it's stuck in my tooth. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, there's some flaws in my tooth. Dang it!